G'day Tubes, how's it going today? Holy freak, it's hot again. Record temperature yesterday apparently, and I don't think it's too far off today either. Like, whew. It's uh, cooler in the back here, but not much. Let's see here, we got, um, oh, 24, 23 and a half degrees maybe. Outside it's like 38. <laughs> 38, 40, and then the, lots and lots and lots of humid today, pardon me. And uh, I don't know, it just must jump it up like another 10 degrees, and it just, just makes you sweat like crazy. And Geez, I came out this morning, and the uh, you could just see it, like looking down through the road past the gate and stuff. It was just like blue, with so, so humid. Today we got uh, to do a, a passenger side front bearing replacement on a Montana van. It's uh, doing the as you're driving, right? So she's she's time, but um, it's front wheel drive too. It'd be something like the car only looks like a van, right? So, but uh, yay, finally don't have to work on something of my own. Woo. <laughs> but anyways, uh, let's head out there and have a look. And uh, th sounds like he was jacking her up. It's for my parents, so um, they're heading on a trip up north there in a couple of few days. So. He's like, oh, I don't want a bearing falling apart on me on the way up there. So, okay, let's get her out and put a new one in. Okay, so we got to pull off this caliper here. And man, it's just exactly the same as on my car. <laughs> it's the same bracket and everything. And you put the, the dewy on there on top. And oh, hey. So, um, I'll have to get a big, big huge nut or uh, socket there, too, to take that uh, axle nut off. It's. Uh, Gonna have to come out and we gotta take the uh, shock deweys off there too. Drop that off. That's always fun. And uh, let me show you the new bearing here. He's got it in the box. That's a nice new one. Probably the exact same that will fit in my car too, I bet. Let's see if I can get her out here. Oh, it's got uh, the ABS sensor in it too, so we gotta be careful. Yeah. Wow. Nice when they're new. And uh, this will be like the turning, uh, oh come on, can't do this with one hand tubes. Like turning the, uh, no, I can't do it with one hand, but anyways, uh, let's put you on the tripod over here and uh, show you how this turns nice. Okay, so this should turn nice and smooth, you know, like nice and smooth. Gotta make sure you don't rip those off. Actually, that one feels tighter, but that's okay. They should uh, spin new, and they, it feels like uh, like a stick in a what you call it a peanut butter, like really thick, like that, right? And then when they're, I'll show you mine over here. When they do the other thing, that means they're almost junk. Let me grab my other bearing here. Okay, so that's my one off the rear of the car. So if they spin like that, you can hear that. That's not good. Get that one fixed. She's about ready to go. Shouldn't, shouldn't hear anything like that, right? So, yeah, it shouldn't spin that good. <laughs> Even though you might think that is good, that's not good. So, yeah, holy cow, they're actually pretty similar, identical, aren't they? For, you know, size wise. Well, hey, probably fit right on. Probably the exact same on the back. A little bit of rust. Oh well. Okay, now. Fun holy cow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we gotta get these out too. Yeah. So this whole thing can drop forward. Yeah. Might have to take this out too. Yeah. Um, Which we replaced not too long ago, so it should just boop right out. Yeah. Um, that's so the whole thing can drop away like this, yeah. right? And get the axle out of the housing there. Then you can get these lovely bolts out for the bearing. They're fun. Nice. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so what size are those? Big, big. Oh, well, that's recordable. Uh, no, they'll be, uh, yeah, they should fit one of those. And that's uh, set there. I don't know what size they are, probably something stupid. <laughs> a little bigger, what size was that one? That's uh, 33, 13, 16, so okay. it's gonna cooperate. Yes, it is. Yeah. That's good. Lovely. Yeah. The pack's back there. I'll get up out of the way here. Let's see if 
this has an impact on it. Mm -hmm. She's impacted. I'm gonna get those bolts out too, that'll be fun. These are weird on this side, eh? they're like half rounded. I don't think it'll fit, you'll have to get a wrench on them. Yeah. I don't know, uh, it's a pretty big wrench. Look at that. Yeah. Maybe one of those down there might fit. 17 maybe. Oh, wow. It might have an 18 too in there maybe. It's 18. 18, of course, better go get an 18. So I pre-grabbed some other bits here too, I figured out we're going to need, so. Uh, I don't have an 18, but I got an adjustable here. I had a hammer. Oh. Okay, I don't need all these tools. <laughs> That'll work. Oh, hey. Look at them specialty. Bet you they're wicked hard too, eh? Yeah. Oh, hey. Oh, yeah, they're hard. Yeah. Oh, here comes people to bother me, tubes. You can hear them pulling up. See, look. See, you can see. Come on, go away. Just like that. Well, bam. Now, if those are wore out, that doesn't usually happen. No. <laughs> it starts spinning in the housing. Just like that. She's out of alignment. Yep. Okay, tubes, I gotta run back and uh, sell a grave and stuff here, so uh, don't work too fast, eh? Yeah, okay. Okay, we'll be right back. Okay, you didn't get too much done while I was gone, did you? Oh, hey. Uh oh. Oh. Trying too hard. Go to the deadline. <laughs> Caregiver lives at 12 or 2. Okay. So, one more bolt, and this bearing is just going to fall right off. Right? It's not. So we got, oops, sorry tubes, we got the axle uh, sort of punched through there and you don't really need to take the whole thing right off. You just have to get in there to get that top bolt and, and that's it. So you taking the whole thing apart in another dewey below there, right? The ball joint. Oh, rust. Lovely. So rustic. It's coming though. Uh, I think it's coming. There'd be a little collar in there too, right? So if you rushed it in, in there. Oh yeah, she's junk. <laughs> you oh, can hardly boy. turn it. Yeah. Wow. That's what the <laughs> was going down the highway. Yeah, that's right. Is that what you replaced really on No. The back ones. Um, could have chisel maybe. There's a dewy right behind you there. You can use that pry bar. Yeah, it's coming. Woo! Just like that. Well, bam. Okay, let's have a look at this bearing. Well, there's this bearing, and we had to beat her so hard, I think we might have beat her into a better place where it spins better, but it doesn't uh, sound super great, but it shouldn't spin like that, that's for sure. It should be more like, uh, show you the other one here. You can see this one doesn't free spin itself, right? Because it's all full of grease and nice and new and stuff and tight. Yeah. So, but yeah, it actually broke the back sensor thing off there for the ABS, which is down past my gun there. That's it there, so. Yep, it's got to push through.
Got my side in. What about the top of stone that you needed? No, we gotta crank it on yet. Getting that nut on. Draw that. Oh, I'm gonna need this big, big one here. And I don't know where the extender went or the not do we? Want this guy. And you're gonna want this guy. Here we go. Give her. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Oh, got her. Open it in. That's only on the second torque setting there, so you might want to crank it up on the very back. Get your cable in there. You'll get all kinds of lights flashing. What's going on? Yeah. Something's are screwed up here somewhere. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> ABS cable, and uh, we'll put that strut on first, I think. And then, yeah. uh, oh geez, I hope we can get that thing in there. I might be in trouble here, tubes. There we go. Watch your boot. jacked up. Uh -huh. uh, we'll have to get in there with a punch or something and try to push it up like that. Let's see here tubes. I'm going to put the camera down tubes. Hold on a sec. Man that was a two guy battle getting that back together. We got her. Holy. Now the that was uh oh what the heck was that one of these here maybe one of these guys got them it'll work the steering thingy back on and uh, give him a buzz. Jumping. Caliper. Yeah. Brick Dewey. Brick Dewey. 
just want to beat the rust off that. Bill. Oh, that's good idea. Rusty, holy, it doesn't take long. It doesn't take long. So, yeah, all we got to do is uh, put the uh, caliper and the rotor back in here, and uh, man, we'll have to go for a little test drive. See how she works. Rusty, wow. It's awful, isn't it? Yeah, but basically, uh, to line these up again, we had to push, push down to bring the whole thing because of the, the Springer thingy here, sway bar, right? And uh, we had to shove down a bit more to, to get it to come down to get a bolt through. So it was all about that far out, so it was quite a push, you know? But uh, we made her. It took two of us, but we got her. Holy crap, there we go, tubes. We're uh, the brakes back on and uh, just gonna rebolt the tire up here, let her down, and take her for a little test drive. So far, so good. Let's hear it before just even going this speed. Oh boy! Oh boy. <laughs> Hold <laughs> on. Yeah, we're not falling apart yet. Go for a tear up the highway here and see if we can hear the doing the this is like it was yesterday. I don't kind of think so. Holy. That's well protected. Wow. Well, that's it, tube. Van seems good. That's all. Those. That's all she was. Was the uh, that bearing? So that's uh, pretty standard uh, uh, repair and taking apart and putting back together in a lot of cars like that. Now it seems to be uh, pretty much all the same with stuff. You know, like my car is the same. The van's pretty much the same. Uh, that van's the same. Like I bet you, vlogging life's car is probably the same. Same, same deal everywhere, eh? So, but uh, it's a pretty good system. You know, it works pretty good. It's pretty easy to, to get off and stuff. You know, and I know some of the Ford ones, some of them are pressed in and you got to press a bearing out because you got to reuse the outer hub thingy, right? So you have to have a press and all that. And man, it's hot out here. But anyways, yeah, that's friggin' it for today. I'm just cooking out here. So about uh, 42, I think now, with uh, Humidex on that too. So another 10 degrees. Yeah, do the math. It's pretty hot in the sun, I'll tell you. So... I just got one little thing I got to do on the backhoe here, and then uh, that's freaking it. We're out of here. So, head down to the basement, stuff my face in front of the fan, get us something to drink, and uh, we'll let it up a video. So, uh, just cooking, eh? Just cooking. So, anyways, tubes, uh, yeah, we'll talk at you later and uh, have a freaking good day. Keep cool, man. Keep cool. Good day, tubes. Bill's T Max here. I'd love to give you a shout out on the freaking YouTube TV. So if you'd like to uh, send your uh, freaking letter to this address, bloop, bloop, and we'll get you uh, a nice shout out on the on the show. And uh, just keep in mind, we're gonna read this uh, stuff out, everything except your personal addresses and stuff. And uh, and uh, yeah, so send her out, and uh, freak, we'll get you on the show. Friggin' right. <laughs>